The State Department is backed up right now with passport applications. It takes up to 13 weeks to process a passport right now as compared to the normal eight weeks. And because of this, people are claiming they can expedite the process. Here's what Hamilton County Clerk of Courts says to avoid. People are getting lured to a website called usapassport.org. And once they get there, they're paying $128 just to get the application. But guess what? There is no fee to get the application if you do it through the state. There are websites that they look very official and they say, if you give us this money, you'll be able to fill out your application online and we're going to give you potential passport insurance too. And that's just not what you should be doing. You should be very careful to make sure that you're using an official government website, especially if you're thinking about submitting any sort of fees. Go to the official government website in order to get an application. It should be free. So here's what you need to know to protect yourself. On these websites, there are disclaimers that say they aren't affiliated with the government, but those aren't always clear. The official place to fill out a passport application is travel.state.gov. Or you can go in person to your county auto title office or to your local library. And the only fees that you should be paying are three of them. The first one is the US State Department application fee, and this depends on your age and whether you're getting your passport expedited or not. And those fees will vary. The other one is your photo fee. That should only cost 10 to $15. And the last one is the fee to the agency processing your application, and that's about $35. Fighting fraud, I'm Cassie Arsenault. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.